Did you know that the flush toilet we know today was invented in 1775? Since then, there have been no design innovations in the toilets. Think about it. Think about it again. Since 1775. The typical poor flush toilet are typically connected to large sewer networks, which need huge amounts of water as well as finances. Is it possible to build a toilet which does not require these sewer networks and does not discharge either waste water or sludge and one which is easy on the pocket as well? Bio toilets are the answer. Bio toilets treat human waste at source. Water and biogas are the only discharges that can be put to many uses if desired. The anaerobic bacteria was selected as the final candidate due to its inherent advantageous abilities. Aeration or oxygen is not required. They perform well under complete anaerobic conditions. Anaerobes can even degrade detergents, phenyls present in toilet clearing agents. Inactivation of more than 99% pathogens. Sludge generation is very less. One-time bacterial inoculation is sufficient and require minimal maintenance and almost nil recurring cost. An aerobic microbial consortium was developed having four groups of anaerobic bacteria for the best results. When anaerobic bacteria in liquid form acts on human waste, it is decomposed to release carbon dioxide and methane gases which are generally let off in the atmosphere. If required, methane or biogas can be used as a source of energy. The resultant water is free from pathogens and can be used for gardening or other purposes. The process does not require any external energy source. Actual decomposition of human waste takes place in specially designed biodigester, which is actually a multi-chambered fermentation tank. Tank is provided with the multiple number of chambers to increase the path length of the waste that improves contact time and accelerates degradation. Dimensions and internal designs of biodigester are kept flexible to suit requirement as per number of users, availability of water and prevailing geoclimate conditions. In general, biodigesters for cold climate need to be of higher volume in comparison to high temperature conditions. Fermentation tank has a suitably positioned inlet for human waste and outlets for treated effluent and biogas. Fabrication material of the tank may also vary from simple brick, stone or RCC structure to plastic, fiber reinforced plastic, mild steel and stainless steel. In remote areas, locally available materials may be preferred and used to save on transportation cost. Biodigesters have applications both in stationary as well as moving vehicles. Biodigester is seeded with microbial inoculum only once during the entire life cycle of bio toilet. Reason being the self-replicating property of microbes present in the inoculum. Under favorable conditions, anaerobic bacteria can double its population within few hours. Biodigester technology-based biotoilets soon made a headway in high altitude. Low temperature areas of Siachen, Leh, Sikkim and Tawang. Nearly 750 biotoilets in Leh city, 850 biotoilets in Aizol city of Mizoram and 1600 biotoilets in the islands of Lakshadweep are serving the society with satisfaction. Advantages of biotoilets are many. No bad odor, neither infestation of cockroaches and flies, almost nil maintenance, as digester never clogs and organic waste is reduced to 90%, can be customized as per requirement, wide adoptability and applicability under different climatic conditions, minimizes water consumption, effluent water free from pathogens may be recycled for cleaning of toilet pan and gardening generates odorless and inflammable biogas and also tolerant to toilet cleaning agents. Bio toilets are hailed as cost effective, environment friendly and more efficient as compared to other decentralized human waste technologies. Impressed by its credentials and possible applicability in mobile vehicles, 